This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Please touch that like button, touch that subscribe button, and make sure you ring that bell so you're in the loop of the news that's going on every day. I appreciate you guys so much. Well, a lot of rappers are getting in their feelings. Emo. Emo. This is Drake's emo right here. He gets emotional on the Grizzam, okay? He lets the song cry. Uh, so he does this whole thing that I guess is supposed to be a joke, but it's not that funny. He said, I had a crazy few days where I feel like I just can't win. Then I just opened a cherry jelly rancher and it dropped on the floor of the car. Then I looked in the pack and realized that it was the last cherry one. And it was just a down moment that summed up a series of tough moments. And I felt like, okay, I get it. This is my else. I got to take in the sequence. Then I turned my iPhone light on and realized it was a watermelon, was a cherry, so I got one. Blessings to all. Y'all, it's always there. You just gotta find it. What is this supposed to be, some inspiration? Drake's going through some hard times and we should feel bad. Drake does nothing but win out here, okay? <laughs> Can't feel bad for that. Meek Mill, getting in his feelings about Nicki Minaj. Twitter fingers is back at it. He said he should have never tried to save that girl. If you ask me, Nikki kind of saved him, okay? Uh, he was in a down and out moment, coming out, coming out of uh, jail, and she she kind of blessed him. That, that, that was a huge boost in his career when he got with Nikki. Uh, it brought him to another level where people were talking about him more. Uh, he got features. She changed his songs with like, you know, he got like Chris Brown on there and stuff. But not that he couldn't do it before. He just wasn't taking those risks. And uh, Nikki did help his career a lot. Uh, maybe I've heard a little bit too with the whole Drake thing because uh, Drake got in his feelings, didn't show up to a show, and then Meek got in his feelings and it turned into a whole debacle. But uh, let's be honest. I mean, he's going a little crazy with uh, uh, this back and forth. Then he also warns rappers not to spend their money so much right now because they're going to be canceling shows soon because of this corona thing. Uh, it, it's pretty bad, man. Uh, the news is overreacting and uh, people are canceling events now uh, as a reaction to the news. And the news is really the one hurting everybody because this, this uh, thing only really takes out 1% of the people that get it. Uh, there's most of the people recover, 99% recover. It's like the flu. The flu's worse, actually. So don't buy into the hype. They're getting people to run to the stores. Stores are, yeah, people are working from home. It's getting real crazy. Just, you know, do what you normally should do as a human being and wash your hands and disinfect. I mean, that's like normal, uh, you know, hygiene. Okay. So uh, just be careful out there. Then we got Q, QCP is like, you know, inspirational guy. He started a whole label, got the Migos going, got a bunch of rappers, made a bunch of people millionaires. But uh, it doesn't mean he makes great woman choices. He was with Lyra Galore, who's been Meek's girl, Rick Ross's girl, and now his girl. Now he has a baby with her, and it's a lot of drama. It's going to make his life more difficult now because he wants to, he's reportedly dating Tommy from Love and Hip Hop. And we all know that, she is full of drama. Um, so I don't know what's someone. Someone needs to step in and give him a uh, uh, what do they call that intervention? Because QCP is making his life more and more difficult, and he's way too successful and way too smart. With him and Coach K, they're way too smart to have all these distractions. Anyways, guys, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. I appreciate you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Don't forget to write down everything that you're grateful for on a piece of paper. And don't be mad at what you don't got. Be grateful for what you do got. I appreciate you guys so much, and I'll check you guys in the next one.